Yes, episode two with senior man here, titular, incorrectly known as Tench Lane, Tick Wireline, Tequila, Lee, Tickly, Titra, Titchla, Tequili, Tekaili, Kylie. So my church in the UK, Lifehouse Church, decided to come to Africa, would come to the African Jews. And they came with Compassion Charity. And they were here for probably maybe a week and a half, I'm not too sure, I can't remember now. But we picked them up at the airport to see them and say hi to them. It was nice seeing them. So I've obviously not seen them for probably three or four weeks now. So it was nice to hear good old British voices and sayings and all that good stuff. But let me tell you a little story as well what actually happened. So I asked my mum to bring me some stuff in one of the passengers' suitcases. So I think my mum brought like some books some sweets and whatever and for some reason she decided to add in shaving cream as if we don't have shaving cream in Ghana. Tell me why I get this this suitcase I say sick I can't wait to see what we've got. I open it up and oh gosh the blooming the the blooming shaving cream's gone everywhere. It's ruined my 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 book it's ruined the food it's ruined half the stuff there. Why do I recommend meant to do that? Why would you think it's a good idea to put blooming shaving cream in that inside of the bag? For who? To come and do what? I wasn't trying to do, I wasn't trying to shave, trying to go big, big, big beard, big bushy beard. Anyway, obviously you can see the pictures, they're not great at all. It was not ideal and I had to live with that, but you know what to say. You live and you learn in the light of Christ. So the guys like me arrived at Kotoka Airport in Accra. We then traveled the next day to Kamasi, which was where their children who they've been sponsoring lives and that's where they go to school and that good stuff. Fortunately this episode I've got more footage. Younger self, Titular was able to film more footage for you guys. So I'm gonna play the footage I have and we'll see what happens afterwards. <laughs> This picture, this is where it was taken. So kente is a traditional African cloth made in Ghana, which you mostly see African Jews like myself, my parents and Ghanaian people wearing. This is where it's made. It's usually made in Kamasi in this area we went to, which is, this is how they make it. Unfortunately, I didn't take any video for some reason, but you can see the cloth and the guys who make it. Anyone, anyone does it? 
For me, it was a very interesting experience to have my church family come over to see my plays as such and see what happens in Africa and what happens in Ghana. So nothing I really saw was surprising to me, but obviously for them it's a completely different world and lifestyle they've never seen before. And it's funny because I actually got lots of clout because I actually speak Chi, which is their language in Ghana. So they come to me to try to interpret and understand and translate what the child that they were sponsoring was saying to them. And it's obviously funny because some children were saying some questionable things which obviously I can't really translate back to them because it's, um, it's not what they're trying to hear. I'd either say, oh, they didn't say anything or I just won't translate to full stop. I'd say even though I didn't see anything that surprised me, it was just another reality check to see how privileged I am in my current situation and how blessed I am to, you know, be living in good conditions as opposed to uh, my countrymen who are still suffering to some extent. It was a nice eye-opener, I guess, you could say for me once again. It was, it was kind of weird because for me, I was sitting with obviously the British folks because I was part of their team, but then my people were actually on the other side. So it was funny, like I was just stuck in limbo because I was sitting with these people, but I realized that I should be there. So that was kind of funny for me, but yeah, you know how it is, life goes on. Before we end chapter two, I'm gonna show you a couple of clips of this day that my cousin and I decided to go into the town. We went to an area where they sell and sew cloth. So I'm just gonna show you what academics would call the trenches of Ghana. <laughs> They hang them and they hang them and they sell it at the roadside. The, the so the, they go by the material from town and they come and sew it into dresses and all different kinds of dresses. And they hang them and then they sew it. They sell it at the roadside. You get it? It's a Kanta Kanta. Yes, if you want them to print something for you, they can do that for you.
Yeah, you don't worry, it doesn't matter. You should just be hit the middle. Now hit your hand too. No, you won't hit my hand. But your hand should be in the middle. No. So I can hit it too. Pawn it hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pawn it hard. Mo mo ah. Yeah, yeah, wabre, ah, wabre. Ah, ah, oh, wabre. Wabre. Baby. Ah, and just your bread, right? Mo 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 ah ah. You send me to the Oh, you Oh, yeah. 